Harry has issued a letter to Wellchild, one of his few patronages left in the UK. In the letter to the charity, the Duke of Sussex referred to himself as their royal patron, which according to his critics is technically not true. His critics said Prince Harry is Wellchild's patron and not royal patron because it's a private charity, and that's how he was able to keep it after stepping down as a working royal. Wellchild's website also introduces him as our patron. Royal fans were quick to notice this and criticised the Duke of Sussex for calling himself the royal. According to reports, Wellchild's revenue is down by 58% since Megxit. Some great research is going on Reddit. One netizen shared the additional information regarding Harry's Wellchild absurdly flowery and mostly useless announcement that he signed as their royal patron. It seems Harold left out very few material facts from his statement. A big lead is being buried here, guys. Harry points out that the CEO of Wellchild resigned, which is a potential red flag given all the other Archwell resignations, so I decided to look further into it. On LinkedIn, it shows that Wellchild's CEO, Colin Dyer, resigned in April 2022 after serving as Wellchild's CEO for more than 12 years. That would be shortly after Harry blew off Prince Philip's memorial service and around the same time as that disastrous Gail King interview. Colin joined the Special Olympics, a very worthy cause, a month later as their CEO. Perhaps Dyer's move is unrelated to Harry and the current deterioration of financial resources at Wellchild, but there's no denying that Harry is bringing bad press and reduced donations to the orgs he's associated with. So the total income. Wellchild in 2020, the income was £2.94 million. 2021, £1.9 million. 2022, 1.27 million pounds. That's a reduction of $660,000 or 34% from 2002 over 2021 and 2020, which concluded before Megxit and Oprah due to the March 31st fiasco year end. It's a staggering revenue reduction of $1.6 million, 58%. Very few charities can sustain losing 58% of their revenue. Clearly the public is reluctant to continue supporting a Harry charity. Wellchild spent $1.6 million overspending $324,000 into the red back in 2022. It appears they have a cushion of about $700,000 in current net assets. That's not a lot of long-term wiggle room, especially with their total operating expenses. So in 2020, of $2.6 million, 2021, $2 million, and 2022, $1.6 million. That's a $1 million reduction in expenses since 2020, or 38%. It should have been 58% to match the reduction in revenue, but Wellchild is choosing to spend down their cash reserves. That will only work over the short term. Something needs to change at Wellchild before they face having to cut back, or possibly even discontinue certain programs within the praiseworthy charity. This is a very commendable charity, but the trustees need to make some hard decisions here. Do the math, Wellchild. When did your revenues take a nosedive? What happened during this time period? It appears that Colin figured this out. Now time for the new CEO, Matt James, to do right by these darling children and their precious families. Pick up the phone, call BP, and request a new patron, quickly. You cannot count on Harry to do the right thing and step aside. Not while he can still milk your org for positive publicity.